Hello everyone, this is Mika, my daughter, she's five, and what are you going to do today? I'm going to make something with my mom. She's going to help me today, she said that she wants to help me cook, so we'll see if how this goes and how long it lasts. Anyway, I was looking through Pinterest to decide what to make for dinner and we found something that we have all the ingredients for and it kind of looks simple enough so we'll see if it actually is simple and yeah so I'm gonna show you actually what I found and what we're gonna make before we actually start making it this is what we're gonna be making it's I guess it's called burek I'm not really sure if I'm pronouncing it right it's on the website ethnicspoon.com it's just like a phyllo dough, um, ground meat and onions and some spices. So it seems pretty simple. So we will try it out and see how simple it really is. Have all the ingredients here. It's really hardly anything. So just olive oil, uh, yeah, olive oil, one onion chopped up, allspice, parsley. They, uh, the recipe calls for fresh parsley, but I don't have fresh. So we're gonna just use some dried parsley, pepper, and ground beef. So I'm gonna get this onion chopped up and the beef in the pan and we will get going. Okay, oil is hot. I'm just gonna add in some onions. Cook for three to five minutes. Then I'm gonna add some, oops, then I'm gonna add some ground beef and the rest of the ingredients until it browns. Okay, now we're gonna be adding the ground beef and the allspice and parsley and pepper and salt. Okay, so I just have three pieces of phyllo dough here, and it says just to fill down the center. So that's what I'm gonna do. I guess it's supposed to be like a fairly long thing. I'm not really sure, but we're gonna see. I mean, this kind of seems like it might be enough for one person, maybe? I mean, like, I would think you would only need one. It says leave a couple inches at the top and bottom. No, this seems like a lot still. Then you brush the outsides with oil or butter. I'm really not sure how to wrap it, but we're just gonna do this. Okay, I was just gonna show you how I have the phyllo dough is um, just here. It says that you are supposed to like cover it with a wet tea towel, so that's kind of what I've done. This is what the finished product looks like. It doesn't say to like put oil or butter on top, but I did anyway. So now I'm gonna stick it in the oven for just a few minutes and then it will be done. Okay, just popped out of the oven. I did end up turning up the temperature because at 15 minutes it wasn't brown at all yet. It was just still a little white. So I turned up the temperature, left it in for a few minutes, and they look perfect now. So we'll see what my family thinks of the taste. This is my daughter's plate. So we will see what she thinks of it when she takes a bite. Hello, little girl over there that started eating. Tell me what you're having for dinner. I'm having home sandwich. And I'm having mashed potatoes. Having this little sandwich thing. This thing that we just made. So she's gonna taste it. I guess she likes the phyllo dough, I guess. She's eating that. Can you take a bite of it and tell us how it is? How is it? Good. You like it? Look over here. You like it or not? Yeah. 
Well, we're all finished eating and I think it was a consensus. We all loved it. Um, yeah, I think we'll be making it more often. Uh, the phyllo dough was quite fun to eat and the filling tasted great and it was really easy to make. So try it out. I will put the link to the webpage that I got the recipe from so you can try it out. But it was good. See you